what's going on guys welcome back to the channel this is asas pixel studio it's another retouching tutorial in photoshop so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to retouch your image and color grade them so let's get started well um pointing out a few things that's wrong with the image we could we will notice that one uh, we have little blemishes on our face and also we the red image is putting on is actually too saturated and it's stealing the subject the focus of the subject also the image is not um, exposed or bright enough to steal the attention of the viewer so we're going to tackle all of that and get the image color graded as well so let's get started first thing i would like to do is to correct the exposure and also the settings of the color so for that i'm going to grab the exposure so under the exposure i'm going to take this icon back let's go to the exposure and take this one backwards not too much somewhere around there we do so to brighten up the image 1.28 i'm going to take it out and i'm also going to grab the solid color adjustment layer and this one i'm going to use it to brighten up the image as well and get the right color profile for it so turn it off double click to open it up and then i'm going to select the place that needs to be white in this case the highs just select that side and it's okay turn it back on and change the blending mode to divide so the image is actually going to look bright right now and but we're going to go inside and then take it all the way up till we have something like this hit okay so now we have this from this to this brighten up the image and we can go ahead and decrease the opacity but before that let's go inside the gamma selection and instead of taking it up we're going to take it down a little to get more details from 122 and select this one and then take it backwards uh, we're going to select the um, saturation and bring it down to get more of the color we have in there before so it's okay and now we can go further and group these two together which is our first edict or we can bring down the uh, opacity a little bit somewhere like 90 and that should give us a natural look so before and then after so notice what the red is actually doing so we're going to correct that in a moment so we can use the selective color or rather use the color you and saturation so let's go to the red channel I'm just gonna use the hand to grab the color and then you can see the range of the color once we take it all the way up i'm gonna focus more on the clothes so let's take it up till we have the clothes alone selected something like this and then i'm going to make this zero back we're not changing the hue of the clothes we're just changing the color so let's make this zero and then we're going to go to the saturation zero go to the saturation and desaturate it a little not too much just a little to um, bring down the saturation of the clothes so now that we've done that we can go ahead and do some frequency separation and work on the skin clone for so we're going to create a stem visible layer control shift alternate e to create a stem visible layer and then i'm going to duplicate the layer twice and name this texture name this color name this texture T E X T U R E it's enter and now what we're gonna do is um, we're going to turn off the texture layer normal frequency separation and go to filter blur Gaussian blur and we're gonna blow it I'm gonna start from this pimples and I'm gonna take it all the way down so but before that let's talk about the Gaussian blur we're actually going to use well because this could the skin is already um, smooth we're going to use very high blow value like this should be fine and let's take it up a little bit like four and it's okay now we're going to turn on the texture layer go to the texture go to image apply image and we're going to select under the image select the color and hold that multiply select subtract so we're subtracting the texture from the um, the texture from the image and so that the color and the texture will stand alone and we can work on them independently so the scale to offset 128 it's okay and then turn it back on change the blending mode to linear light and we're back with our image i'm going to group the two together and name it frequency separation so frequency sep and it's okay so let's open it up 
and select the color layer we're going to use the mixer tool brush and you all know the settings of the mixer tool brush wet 9 load 75 mix 90 flow 100 so what we need to do now is to balance is to start blending so just click on it and start blending with your brush just like that as easy as that So now we can grab the texture layer, go to the clone stamp tool and then look for the texture that are looking bad and I'm going to hold and hot and just quickly dab on the places that have problem. Just going to hold and hot and fix that place, hold and hot and fix all this side. Alright, so let's zoom in, hold and hot and quickly fix. Okay, so there we go with our retouching. If you want more skin texture, you can you know run some plugin that helps in doing that. So um, I'm going to create a stamp, a, an empty layer, drag it above the frequency separation, and I'm going to correct the hair at the back. So let's grab the clone stamp tool, and then you no, know, first of all, grab the lasso tool, and we're going to select the back of our hair like this. So quickly select the back of our hair and after that we grab the clone stamp tool and then sorry select this one the image okay let's create a stem visible layer first of all turn this off mm -hmm. control shift or turn it e to create a stem visible layer and then we'll do the same thing take this tool and then select a hair the back hair that's rough And then we are going to grab the clone stamp tool. Let's 
sample somewhere half side hold and hot and quickly remove that from the way all right so now we can go ahead and we can do the same right here hold and hot Control d to deselect hold and hot and quickly fix this side having um, those all right so let's say this is what we have now and that's for this layer okay we didn't use the layer again now we can actually whiten the highs and for that i'm going to use the curve for that and what we need to do is to make a selection of the high on the mask so control high first of all let's take it up and drag it all the way down to make everywhere uh, let's drag it somewhere like this and create high control high and let's mask it out okay control high and grab the normal brush tool and then use x as our foreground color white and i'm going to paint on the highs like that and like that okay so now we can reset the mask let's reset the mask and now that we have the histogram of the highs we can mess around with this one and brighten up the highs let's take it backwards to make sure that we are having the best of it okay so we're going to reduce the red so notice how it actually affects the red let's see reduce the red taking it forward you can go inside go to the greens and remove the greens not add greens to it all right let's go to the blues let's make it white a little bit um, like that and now we can since we have some blues in there we can now go ahead and grab the solid color adjustment just pick any color turn it off select the max of the curve drag it on top replace turn it turn it off double click to open up the color picker and then select the highs it's going to give you the range of that color it's okay turn it back on and then change it to divide so we have a bright eyes but we need to decrease the opacity so let's go back inside and then go to brightness and take it all the way up till we have it look natural so something like this should be fine let's zoom out and see our highs so before and after you can turn off this one and turn it back on so let's decrease the opacity of this one and take this one decrease the opacity as well and get a very natural look okay so since we have that already we need to color grade the image for for color grading the image i'm going to use the selective color and now we also need to understand that um since we have red in the image we need to have an opposite color in the background which is a complementary color for that so for us to do that i'm going to select the um, background select the subject so go to select select subject all right so now that we have a selection of the subject i'm going to create um duplicate the selection of that subject so let's go control sheet or done it here with this time visible layer and then cut ctrl j to create a selection and now we're going to clip to that layer um color balance and we can now start manipulating our ways to what we want um first of all in the color wheel the opposite color of red should be green in the color wheel so we can add some green tint to the image like this and make we can also increase the blue value and probably remove some green and make it look more warmer like that so if we if we have that in the mid-tones we can go to the highlight as well and probably add some green and add some cool yellow like this let's not add some red let's give it some more greens and we're going to go to the shadows which will make things more dramatic and let's give it a little bit green and probably not increase it too much so that type of green should be fine so we have it like that now you can see the difference this is the before and this is the after all right so this is um the way i'm going to actually color grade and then we can give put some um color into it selective color and for that selective color i'm going to select the um, dark side and give it a touch of green as well 
to just fit in the image proper so it green yeah so just a little green like that and then we can go ahead and um, let's leave this the red alone make this zero go to the highlight the white and probably give it a little touch of this one and give it some red a bit let's go to the green and make it more green let's go to the red and we're going to increase just because to get more skin tones kind of the yellow feel and this one like this notice please don't um, let it touch the red in the image so just like that and we're done so it's just a minimal effect you can see before and after retouched before and after okay so that's how to you know color grade your image and then we have this we have this we have this all right so guys let's create this time visible layer control shift to turn it here and quickly let's see our uh, color grading hold on shift and group everything together and then we can see our before and then our after or before and then our after so using color grading so thank you guys for watching if you find the video helpful you can let me know in the comment section so before and after